filter mist oil mist collectors use centrifugal impaction to remove or reclaim oil mist, coolant, fume and steam from a wide range of manufacturing operations. This film describes how to install a filter mist unit using a top half post stand to mount it onto a machine tool. Top half posts are useful in installations where floor space is limited. The filter mist engineer will complete a risk assessment before starting the job if this has not already been completed prior to his arrival. Make sure the machine tool is switched off. Cover the motor and sump to prevent dust ingress. The installation shown in this film is for an OEM customer, which, if required, fits filter mist oil mist collectors to machine tools before they are dispatched to the end user. Transport brackets are used for logistical purposes. If this installation was taking place in an end user's facility, the post would be fixed directly to the body of the machine tool. Measure, mark and drill screw holes as required for the lower bracket. Deburr to ensure there are no sharp edges. Attach the lower transport bracket. Use a ratchet to tighten. Measure and mark screw holes as required for the upper bracket. Check there is nothing behind the intended location of the holes before drilling. Deburr to ensure there are no sharp edges. Attach the upper bracket and tighten. Insert the post into the bracket. Cut to size if necessary and then mark the required location of fixing screws on the post. The filter mist unit should be located as near to the top of the machine tool as possible to enable easy access for service and maintenance. Drill holes, ensuring post is held firmly to avoid movement during drilling. Insert the post through the brackets and fix into position with screws. Unpack the bracket and attach to the post. Unpack the unit. Detailed installation instructions can be found in the installation and maintenance manual supplied with the unit. Place the unit on a sturdy work surface to prepare for installation. Remove the four insert screws on the side of the case. Fit the eye bolts supplied with the unit. Fit after filter clips if an after filter is being used. Before mounting the unit, you will need to pre-wire the motor. Filter mist motors are wound for low and high voltage and operate on 50 and 60 Hz as shown in the table in the installation manual. 
unscrew the terminals. Remove the bridges and washers and connect to desired voltage. A connection diagram can be found inside the motor terminal box. It can also be found in the installation manual. motor must be connected via a three-phase direct online starter and isolator with suitable thermal overloads or via an independent supply in the machine control panel. Using an isolator allows the filter mist unit to be classed as a machine according to the Machine Directive 2006-42-EC. Please refer to the installation manual for recommended overload settings and terminal connections. Fit the isolator onto the machine tool. Fit the plug to the motor side of the cable. Surface mount the plug to the inside of the machine. Power supply must be connected by a qualified electrician. Remove from packaging. Snip trunking to the desired length and spray with a little lubricant to make it easier to push the pipe through. Mark both ends of one of the pipes to enable you to tell which one is which later on in the installation. Push both pipes and the cable through the flexible trunking and then wipe the pipes clean. Connect the F monitor cable with the correct motor terminal. Refer to the F-Monitor manual for details. Wrap the cable around the motor so it is tidy and out of the way whilst the unit is being mounted. Important, always ensure that the machine can support the weight of the filter mist unit and support bracket. Please refer to the installation manual for more details. The filter mist unit will need to be disassembled to enable easy installation. Begin by undoing the safety bolts which hold the top and bottom sections of the casing together. Turn the unit upside down and stand it on the motor. Undo the clips and lift the casing off. Undo the drum and then lift that off as well. Lift the top of the unit cover over the bracket and locate the eye bolts over the pre-drilled holes in the bracket. Insert bolts and tighten. If required, place a reducer over the inlet spigot. Drill and fix into position. Attach the drum 
position the lower half of the casing and secure with clips and safety bolts. Uncoil the F monitor cable and the motor cable. If an after filter is being fitted, you will need to snip out a small section of the foam seal in front of the cable recess groove to allow the trunking to pass through. Position the after filter over the unit and clip into place. Cable clip the cable to the post so there are no trailing wires. Push the oil return pipe firmly onto the drainage tube and secure into position with cable ties. The oil return pipe in this installation has deliberately been left long so the customer can choose whether to direct it into a coolant collection drum or the sump. Wherever possible, filter mist always fits the F monitor so it faces in the same direction as the front of the machine tool. This looks tidier and makes it easier for the operator to monitor. Fix the F monitor bracket onto the unit bracket and slide the F monitor into position. Cable tie the trunking neatly. Snip the pipes to size. There should just be enough slack to comfortably reach from the trunking to the tube on the F monitor. When connecting the pipes, always check that you have the right one. The pipe marked with black pen should be positioned over the tube at the rear of the monitor. This is the one which is connected to the black grommet on the filter mist unit. The second pipe is connected to the side of the motor using the supplied clip. This should be positioned over the remaining tube on the side of the F monitor. This pipe enables the monitor to take a reading from inside the after filter. Remove the pre-cut ducting access panel if there is one. If not, you will need to drill a hole and make your own. Tap out if possible to ensure a neat job. Drill holes in the flange adapter if one is required for the job. A cone drill is best for this job to increase the size of the pre-drilled holes. Squirt sealant around the edge of the ducting hole. Push the flange adapter over the hole and screw to fix into position. Remove the ducting from the netting and push over the reducer. Fix into position with the Jubilee clip supplied. Measure to length a small slit using a Stanley knife and then tear to size. Fit a Jubilee clip over the bottom of the ducting, locate over the flange adapter and tighten the clip. Wire the socket onto the cable. The power supply cable will need wiring into the machine by a qualified electrician. The 
job is then signed off by the customer and the filter mist is ready for delivery to the end user as part of the machine tool package they have purchased. A copy of the risk assessment and the installation report is then emailed to the customer following completion of the job. Filter mist, protecting people, cleaner, safer, more productive workshops.